We are back on daytime, and ladies and long-haired gentlemen, you know how great you look and how good it feels when you get a salon blowout. I sure do. If only our locks could look that way every day. Well, they can with tips from Roy Nacor from J. Joseph Salon. So you're going to tell us how we can blow out our hair, and it really will look like it was professionally done? Absolutely. There are a few tricks and techniques that you can actually use at home to be able to blow dry your hair and make it look somewhat similar to how your stylist did it. Okay, I, I love that you said somewhat similar because it's right. never gonna look exact. You're doing it yourself as opposed to someone right. else doing the it. The advantage that the stylists have is that they have a better angle so they can work behind your head without you having to like, if you wanted to do it yourself, you're gonna yeah. have to break your shoulder and go back there and do it. But there are a few things that you can actually do to be able to do that. Okay. Number one product, you have to take in consideration the product. The product is extremely important. It your is, is it? Right. Your stylist have to recommend the right product that fits, fits best your hair texture. Okay, let me just ask you this though, mm -hmm. because sometimes we go to a salon and we, you know, as in any business, and they try to sell you some things. Right. How do you know what you should have, you definitely need? What well, they should recommend, okay, because the texture has a lot to do with it. Like okay. there are products that go on your roots that swell the cuticles and automatically create volume. Other products that go on the ends that is just going to control the frizz. Okay. Just to give you an example with our model, uh, Amanda. And there are interns also. Right. <laughs> uh, our model, Amanda. What we basically did is we put we go. Uh, products on her regrowth, then she flipped her head over. Okay. We blew dry everything down. And this down? is something, right, against the grain of the hair. Every time you go against the grain of the hair, you're automatically achieving volume. Ah, we like volume. We don't want 80s volume like I always sport, right. but we like volume. <laughs> right, so when you think about volume or the texture of the hair, it's very important that the roots are being taken in consideration. If you have a lot of hair and thick hair, you wanna bring the roots down. You wanna go with the grain of the hair. If you okay. want volume, you wanna go against the grain of the hair, okay. so you flip your head over. So you'll flip your head over right. to get more volume. Right. And when you put the product in, should you put it all over your hands? That's exactly a good point. Putting the product in, I really highly recommend that you put your products in just like a lotion, okay. and then use your fingers to, to apply it to your hair. Oh. Using your fingers only is going to help you uh, take sections and distribute the product evenly. Then as soon as you run out of products off your fingers, you basically go back to your uh, palms and grab some more. Okay. You know how people grab yes. the full hand and apply it? It's very hard to do it that way. All right. Uh, after basically blowing her hair dry upside down, we brought it back up and just a regular curling iron. Achieving this look is extremely easy at home. Instead of wrapping the iron around the hair, what I would like you to do is wrap the hair around the iron. So oh. you basically take the hair, open the barrel up without closing it down, and wrap the hair around and leaving the ends out. When you let it go, it's gonna automatically gonna give you that. Little hairspray should last all day. So it gives you the, the nice- the beachy, loose curl. Look, it's not the crunchy messy. look that exactly. I've done myself. All right, let's go over here now. She has a wonderful straight look. Right. Her hair is absolutely beautiful. It she is. has very good texture hair. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the importance of using the correct brush. Oh, that's key, isn't that? Absolutely. And I do all, it all wrong, so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Boar bristle brush. I blow dry her hair on this side with a boar bristle brush. It's going to give you that tension, that frizz control that you're looking okay. for. It's going to calm the style Help down. Help straighten it. Right. Highly recommended for someone that have thick, coarse hair that wants to control the frizz. Boar bristle brush is the way to go. Okay, so a boar bristle brush. brush. Right. This brush is more of a nylon bristle brush. Right. It has a ceramic in it. Now this ceramic in here heats up. When it heats up, it actually sets the hair. It's very important. You see the look here, how it gives it that oomph? Yeah. It's very important that when you wrap the hair around it and you heat it up, let it cool off a little bit so it sets around the hair. Oh, is that why we should maybe put our um, hair dryer on the cold setting too at the end? That works as well. Yes. This heats up, it cools the hair off, and the hair takes this, uh, the shape of the brush basically, and it gives it that volume. Okay, so you blow it, and then you just hold it for a couple of hold seconds. Hold it for a few seconds just before you let it go. If you let it go and it's still hot, it's just gonna be limp and fall again. Okay. Does that make sense? All right, Roy, that makes perfect sense. If we want more tips and tricks from you, from a professional right. on, um, on salon techniques, where should we go? Uh, Facebook, we're always posting, po posting uh, on Facebook on tips and techniques to do oh. it. And we have a lot of information on our website at jjosephsalon.com. Cool. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> so much fun.